1 0 pitch. Nope, he'll go to first. Got him. And a rundown is Lee. Watch that runner coming home now. They're coming home. And out. Heads up play, Zach Kozar. But the Mariners put a four spot on the board and lead 5 3. Five three Mariners lead the Reds defenders are still on the field because Scott service and the Mariners are challenging that last play. And the official ruling is indeed he is out. Umpire is going to both benches here, explaining the situation. There you see crew chief Tom Hallion talking to Scott Service. And they were challenging whether or not Barnhart was blocking the plate. He was clearly out before that hand got in there. Cano. Well, the key is when you have the ball, you can't be totally in front of the plate without the ball. When you get the ball, you can get in front of the plate. And Barnhart had the ball well out in front of the plate. You see where the setup is. He catches the ball, then he steps backwards. That's a legal play. Textbook right there. Scott Service took a chance to no avail. And I, I think our catchers do it textbook. Uh, you see when Mezzarocco's back there, when Barnhart's back there, and they always set up out in front of the plate that when they get the ball, that's when they slide back. And for the record, if you're wondering, Scott Service did not come out to argue that call. Tom Hallion went to the dugout. Scott Service came out to talk to him. It's an automatic ejection if you argue after a review that was not the case here's the home plate collision rule well the third one there is what we were talking about the catcher must have possession of the ball to block the pathway of the runner trying to score you catch the ball out in front of the plate then you slide that left foot back in order to make the tag and that's exactly what Tucker Barnhart did 